what's up YouTube back with another video so you don't have to be naturally attractive born attractive you don't have to be born good looking to be attractive towards women you can literally Start from the bottom, be the ugliest nigga in the world. You could be the ugliest nigga niggas ever seen. You could be the ugliest nigga and turn your life around. Go to the gym every single day, get brawling. You feel what I'm saying? Wipe, do your face, do face care. You feel what I'm saying? Wash your face. You feel what I'm saying? Do beard trimming, like, tr like take care of your beard and stuff. and Trim your beard and stuff like that, and wash your face, and take care of your body, and wash your skin, and, you know, just take care of yourself, and you can take yourself from a literal three or two, and push yourself all the way up to an eight or nine, oh, I swear, I swear to God you can do it, bro, there's so many niggas that done that shit before, bro. It's 100% possible for you to do stuff like that, bro. It is. It's 100% possible, bro. Bro. I seen this nigga, bro. He was the ugliest nigga in the world, bro. And then when he came back, bro, he looked completely different. I seen an article online. I seen a, video, a, a picture online about a girl. I saw, a, I saw an article online about a girl who was ugly, and she was, she was ugly, and when she went back to her family, she was completely unrecognizable, like, they didn't even recognize who she was, they didn't even, her family didn't even recognize her, bro, like, bro, you can dead ass turn yourself from a three to a, an eight or nine, bro, you can turn yourself from a two or three to an eight or nine, bro, looks wise. Now, as a whole, as a character, that's different because you got to work on your character. You got to work on your money. All of that, bro. But you can go from a 2 or 3 to an 8 or 9, bro. It is possible for a regular man, a regular nerdy-ass nigga, or, or a regular busted-ass, clapped-up man who looks ugly as shit, bro. A beta-ass, clapped dude. To turn into a Chad, bro. It's, it's possible, bro. It can happen. It happened to a lot of people. It happened to a... I saw an article of this dude. He was 12 years old. He was ugly as shit through high school. And then once he once he was like in his 20s and shit, he looked completely different, bro. I'm telling you, bro. I'm telling you, bro. Just go to the gym. Take care of your skin. Take care of your, your face. Take care of your beard, your facial hair. Take care of your... Your haircut, stuff like that, bro. And you'll be good, bro. I'm telling you, bro. And also, you might want to train your neck when you work out, bro. Don't just train when you train. Because a lot of niggas, they train their body, they train their body, bro. But they don't train their neck, bro. You got to train your neck, too. You got to train your neck. Because your neck muscles define whether people see you, see you as muscular or not, bro. So you got to, you got to. You got to train your muscles. You got to train your neck. You got to train your muscles, but you got to train your neck as well. See what I'm saying, bro? Also, another thing, bro, another thing you got to do, bro, is you got to take care of your skin, like I said. Take care of your body. You know what I'm saying? Take care of your beard hair. A lot of niggas, they trim. When they cut their hair, they, they don't cut this part down here off, bro. You got to trim this. Only reason why I got this right now is because I ain't got none of my facial hair currently right now. I don't got that yet. Once I get all that, I'm going to trim all this off, bro. Just make it look nice, bro. But that's what niggas got to do. And another thing that really strengthens or really... That really... Another thing that really goes into detail and really defines your attractiveness is your jawline, bro. A lot of niggas... Who are attractive have strong jaw lines, bro. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta press. You gotta get one of those little squishy things that you get from the motherfucking mail. You can get on Amazon 
and you put it, you put it on your, you put it on your, on your teeth, you put it on your jaw, and you just chew it like this, you chew it, you bite on it, and you chew it back and forth, and it trains your muscles, it strengthens your jaw muscles every single time, it makes your jaw muscles stronger, bigger, and all that, bro. I'm telling you, bro. It's a lot of it's a lot of niggas who think that they born clapped and look ugly as shit. And there's nothing they can do about it, bro. They can, bro. You can change it, bro. You can go from you can go from you can go from a two or three to an eight or nine. I wouldn't say a nine. I would say more like a a seven or eight around that. You can go from you can go from a three, two or three to a seven or eight, bro. You got you got to take care of yourself, take care of your body, watch your face, bro. And that's that's and but keep in mind, bro, when you do those things, bro, don't think that those are the only things that takes place in attracting a woman, bro. You have to be a full man. You have to have all the assets. You have to have all the things that all you have to check off all the boxes that makes you a man. You have to check off all the boxes. You know what I'm saying, niggas, you know what I'm saying, you gotta, you gotta be prepared to be in the street fight with niggas, you know what I'm saying, you can't just be a good looking dude and think you can attract a woman and stuff like that, no, but you have to, you have to also know how to fight and stuff like that, I'll get into that in another video, there's another video I'm gonna post after this video, I'll get into that, bro, but, yeah, bro, you just gotta, you gotta work on yourself, bro, just work on yourself, bro, niggas can glow up. Very quickly, bro. It's, it's very, it's, it's it's very possible for a nigga to glow up, bro. I'm telling you right now, it's happened to a lot of niggas, bro. I'm telling you, it can happen, bro. It can happen. You know what I'm saying. But that's it. That's been that's been this video, bro. It's been your boy. You know, peace, y'all. Have a good day. Have a blessed day. Stay focused on your journeys, King. Never give up on your journey. Stay focused. Stay on your grind. Stay on your pivot, you know, because these niggas out here be on some bullshit. They be picking up with niggas who don't, who are, who don't want to fight. Like niggas who, who niggas who just want to chill and just be calm and just be cool and shit, bro. Niggas just want to pick fights with them niggas for no reason, just to boost their pride and shit and stuff like that. All some female shit, bro. Niggas be acting like niggas. You know what I'm saying, niggas be ice grilling you and shit, bro. They be ice grilling you just. To, you know what I'm saying? Just to get a reaction out of you, just so they can fight you, to to so they they can so they can boost their pride, cause their pride is low, or they have low self esteem, or they insecure, so they want to do some to you. They want to bother you to boost their pride, bro. That's some female shit. Niggas acting feminine as hell out here. So stay safe, King. Stay on your pivot. Don't let no niggas stop you. Don't let no niggas tell you what you can and can't do. Don't let niggas tell you. Don't let niggas disrespect you like that, don't let niggas fuck with you like that, just because they want their pride, you see a nigga do that, check him, check his ass, check him, and put him in his place, like, put that nigga in his place, bro. like, nigga, you know what I'm saying, just like you put these females in their place when they get out of line, bro, you get, let this nigga get out of line, you put his ass in his place, bro, don't let no nigga fuck with you, bro, you know what I'm saying, so bring your boy still. It's been your boy. I'm out, man.